Hey everybody, Jeff Yenser, Vibrant Health Researcher, and today I've got a locally grown organic herb salad that I'm going to have for lunch today. I got this pot that I've been growing out here in the patio of herbs, and uh, this is going to provide today's lunch along with some sprouts I've got there and some pecans I'm going to put on it that came from Georgia, which isn't terribly far away, so it's a pretty good overall locally grown organic meal. Now right here I've got some nasturtiums, which you can eat these flowers. Uh, we're going to start out with those, throw them on the plate. I've got cilantro growing in here, throw some of that onto the plate. We've got uh, basil, this is opal basil. And we have here sorrel, which is a nice tasty green, a couple leaves of that. What do we got over here? Chervil. We're going to throw a little bit of that on there, a little bit of chervil. What else we got in here? We got some beets, and I'm just going to grab a couple, well, I like to call them beet greens, but they're not really green, they're kind of a red color. This is bull's blood beet, I guess they call it that because it's red. And then here in the center we got some dandelion, dandelion is, is really good for you. I like it. You can pick it out of your yard if you like, as long as it hasn't been sprayed with chemicals. Now we have here some, some baby lettuce. Let's get some of that in there. This will grow back nicely. I'll pick it and then it'll just keep on growing as long as I only take some of it and leave some to grow some of this here we got plain Italian parsley here and we'll get just a small piece of fennel here we got salad bernet alright now for some pecans or pecans however you like to say it okay and now we got some sprouts Beautiful salad. I'm going to top it here with some olive oil, which is not locally grown, but uh, it'll make a great little salad dressing. A little bit of sea salt on there. So there we have it. It's lunch today. It's a beautiful organic salad. I've got some healthy fat and protein from the nuts on there and the olive oil. And I've got a great uh, selection of locally grown herbs there. Now if you want to learn more about growing your own herbs, you can go to herbfest.net. There's an email list there. You can sign up the herbal lore and legend. You can get herb tips on growing, using, consuming herbs and a whole bunch of other incredible information that you never knew about. So head on over herbfest.net, get signed up and learn about growing herbs and you can get yourself set up with a small little pot like this and some uh, sprouts going on and then you can have your own organic salad right in your own yard. Thanks for watching.